Hey guys, it is a beautiful day outside today and I'm gonna be stuck inside all afternoon with a school thing for my kids. I'm not too happy about that. Anyway, I wanted to take a moment and make a short video this morning because a lot of you have been sending me emails and questions asking about helicopters. Um, as you know, Marine One landed just the other day and a lot of people were very curious that a US Park Police helicopter was along the same flight path as Marine One and they didn't understand why. Um, my channel is about showing and not telling. And unfortunately, I don't really film the Park Police Eagle that much because it's so ordinary. It's always there. Every time I've gone to a Marine One takeoff or a landing, Park Police Eagle has been doing what we call the White House Loop. And that is a loop around the White House, the monuments, looking for potential threats to Marine One. Once they have gone around and said all is clear, they bug out back to their base in Anacostia, which is just over the river from the Capitol. And then Marine One and the decoys, they all arrive. And that's what I usually film. Um, I actually use the Park Police Eagle is kind of a trigger. When I see the Park Police Eagle go, it's when I turn my camera on because I know that the Marine One is going to come in a few minutes. Anyway, I do want to show you, I don't want to tell you, so I went through my archives and I found a couple instances where I had Park Police Eagle actually flying the White House Loop. So let me show you that right here. That helicopter is scouting for terrorists on rooftops or any other bad guys. Park Police helicopter in the sun again. 441. Honestly, they should be landing. There's a weird echo off the monument. He's leaving today to go to Delaware. At departure time was 4.55. Wheels up for Air Force One was 5.05, I think. Have I seen the President helicopter? Many, many times, yes. Many, many times. In fact, I've actually been on the White House grounds uh, for presidential arrival. That's the Park Police helicopter checking me out and checking everybody out on the mall as they do before a helicopter lands. So, Park Police have a long history of helicopter operations in Washington, D.C. Um, most of you, or at least some of the older ones of you, have seen Park Police Eagle in some dramatic footage uh, from 1980 or so when the Air Florida plane crashed under the 14th Street Bridge and went into the river. It was Park Police Eagle that was the first and only helicopter on the scene and was able to pluck a few people out of the freezing cold Potomac River uh, after that tragedy. I should note that Park Police Eagle 1, which was the one that did the Air Florida disaster, is now on display at the National Law Enforcement Officers Museum. So if you ever get down to that museum, you'll see Park Police Eagle 1 from that famous incident. Now, the Park Police Eagle um, actually transmits its transponder data across the ADSB uh, system, which is the system that everybody uses, like uh, Flight Tracker, Flight Aware, or ADSB Exchange, which is a really good website for tracking aircraft, including military aircraft. Um, <laughs> sort of a hidden secret amongst the press, and well, even me, I track the Park Police Eagle to know where generally Marine One is when it's coming back from Camp David in Delaware. So if I see the Park Police Eagle is on its way down, say, 270, uh, Interstate 270 from Camp David, or down I-95 from uh, Delaware, I can have a pretty good idea what time Marine One is going to land at the White House. It's sort of a little uh, White House media trick. So guys, if you want to know more about helicopters in Washington, D.C., there is a Twitter account called Helicopters of D.C. I'll put the link down here. Helicopters of D.C. is an automated Twitter bot that also works in conjunction with people in Washington, D.C. who take pictures of helicopters. And they have kind of a game called Copter Spotter, where they try to take photographs of helicopters and then match them up to the ADSB and track all the helicopter traffic in Washington. You have to understand that helicopters in Washington, D.C. are like 
like squirrels on a college campus. I mean, they're everywhere. We literally, five, 10 helicopters an hour sometimes. It's not, it's, they're just always around. And if you're a guy like me who kind of likes helicopters and planes and trains and all that stuff, uh, it's kind of fun to look at. Anyway, Helicopters of DC, great source for looking into Helicopters of Washington, DC. Also, you go to the globe, uh, or absbexchange.com, which is a brilliant site for tracking helicopters, aircraft, including military aircraft. Strongly recommend taking that. So anyway, so, um, like I tried to do, I tried to show you, that's what I film. I guess I'll film Eagle a little bit more since you guys are so interested in that. Uh, it's always there. If you guys want to see it more, I will show you it. Uh, we're going to film it the next time we have a launch or a takeoff, which probably is going to be a little bit later this week, according to what I'm hearing.